my, uh, my friend recently carried out uh, the greatest prank uh, that's uh, yet been carried out in the history of civilization. He was, he was at the cinema with this good lady, and they've been going out for some time. So this isn't as sleazy as it might sound at first. And he decided to place his man wanger up through the bottom of the box of popcorn, <laughs> which is a classic. And 50% of you have considered doing it. Like I certainly have. And in my mind, it's always seemed like such a straightforward prank. It's just a question of like, yoink. And then, could I interest you in some popcorn, my darling? And then like, oh yes, rummage, rummage, ah. <laughs> You are so romantic. Aww. Now, that is very much in my mind. Reality, it turns out, is starkly different <laughs> uh, for two main reasons. Contemporary cinema popcorn, as we know, comes in a waste paper basket that's about that size. So having entered the box, then it to eat his way down furiously for a foot and a half. Problem two, contemporary cinema popcorn is highly over-salted. <laughs> so all this time, he was basically just pickling his own units. A thousand years after his death, his wanger will be found perfectly preserved. Someone will dig it up and take it on Antiques Roadshow. Well, it looks like a ceremonial flute of some kind. Well, in many ways. Didn't your dad play the lead guitar break on uh, the theme music to the psychedelic Irish children's television series Wanderly Wagon? He he didn't play the no he played the keyboard part oh, on that. Right. Yeah yeah he. Uh, <laughs> it's another one of the very strange seventies semi mystical pieces of television. Yeah, and it had the correct prog rock style moog and guitar lead yeah. sound on it, and it's about um yeah a wagon moving through space in some future past world with where there's wizards and puppets mm. together and it figures in a lot of Irish children's or Irish adults nightmares Does now it? I think yeah. well in in there were, there were comforting figures in it yeah uh, but then there was a snake that you just have to mention the snake's name to a lot of Irish people and um, they uh, what was it called? sneaky snake <laughs> <laughs>